EaseEye is a company that made the world's first naturally backlit monitor. This is not RLCD. This is not e-paper. This is not MIP memory in pixel. No, this is LED, but allows for natural light to flow through the back of the panel so you don't even need to power on the individual pixels in order to see the display. We touched on this unit a while back as it was considered prototype 2 back in December. This one is prototype 5 featuring carbon fiber, magnetic snap panel, and a dual coating for higher reflectivity. Let's check it out. So before we get into all the light aspect of it and how it works, you can see that we are in a well-lit room and this is on. We're going to leave this on until we actually tell you otherwise. So we're here on Project Gutenberg just to show you guys an ebook. We are connected to a PC off camera right over here and we are going to check this out. So we're going to read online on the web and we will see what this looks like. You should note that when the light is on on the actual backlit device, it's not too different than a regular monitor because at its core, that's what it is. It is a very matte experience and we'll do a comparison with e-ink in another video. But for now, it is a very matte experience. It does break down a lot of the light. It's not a very reflective glass screen if that is your major concern. Reading ebooks is totally fine on this. You can see if you zoom in, it actually shows my touch points on the screen as well. You see right in the middle. And if I long press, there's a gigantic circle. So it is going to transmit exactly what you see on your PC. I have a touchscreen PC here. The quality is all there so in its inherent form there's no problem with reading books. Colors also shine through as well. Let's look at some colored balls here. Just get into some different imagery. You'll see that there are no problem with any sort of colors. They have a wide color gamut on this. This is much easier on the eyes than a traditional LCD screen with a piano finished glass front. Usually when you get those other LCD monitors that don't do anything to have any coatings or anything on the actual panel itself, it ends up being a little bit of a strain on your eye and it feels very sharp. Finally, we will get into a video here just to show you there's no problem with playback. So as the video rolls, you'll see there's no fuzzing, there's no staining, there's nothing like that because a lot of people were wondering if this is utilizing something like a TCL Next Paper type of alternative technology. They are not. This is not what the device is about. We are simply showing you the fundamentals as it stands that you can use this as a lighted standalone monitor without taking advantage of the light benefits, which we will get into right now. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to leave the studio lights on, but turn off the monitor light. We will leave the monitor on, however. Believe it or not, the monitor actually is still on. So you might be asking, well, how do we see it? We have a light here that I'm going to shine on it. You will see that it does show up a little bit, but that's not how it works. This is just the reflection portion of it. So not only is it reflective to some degree on the front, it utilizes light from the back. So what you have to do first is tilt back this panel. Now that the back panel is tilted, if I get that same light and bring it over around the back, you will see that depending on where I have the light, you can see right on the side here, it is going to shine through and illuminate. If I do it up here, if I do it down here, if I do it in the center on the car here. Also, if you move back a little bit and hover it right over, it catches the light and spreads the light out. Alternatively, if you have a light in your room, that uses less consumption than that of the actual monitor, you can turn that on as well. So now we turned on the light that is at the very top of our review table here, and it is now illuminating the screen. This does not illuminate nearly as much as the actual built-in light, but this way you don't need to use any additional power. Now you might be asking, well, I'm using power on my light. You are correct, but how they market it even further is that this uses ambient light from outside.
In the end, how does this play out for all you guys? This unit has a lot of the benefits of e-paper technology and alternatives without the lack of refresh rates and it also features some pretty low power consumption all things considered. It's best of a lot of worlds when you want to use ambient light, alternative light sources or the light from the monitor itself. They never leave you in the dark, both figuratively and literally. For GoodyReader.com, this is Peter.